Hello friends, welcome to Dexperan. I'm Didi and I'm here again with a new illustration for those who are new. This channel is all about designing, discussing various tools and tips and tricks in Photoshop. Today I'll be making this and we'll be guiding you through the whole step-by-step -step process. So without any further ado, let's get started. For the purpose of this illustration, let's create our canvas with poster A4 size and for this we need, this time we will be working with three images. So let's drag one by one. I have already downloaded the three images and I will be leaving the link in the description in case if you want to use them as well. So this is our first image. Let's position it as power our need. Now we'll bring our second image and place it above this. Now change the opacity to a lower number so that we can see where we are adjusting and we can adjust it accurately. Let's bring the third image. Once again change the opacity. Now let's change back the opacity of both the layers to 100% and now we'll be working with some brushes. Before that, let's take one of the layer and apply a layer mask. Now select the brush tool as foreground color as black and opacity and flow to 100%. Now we'll select the brush and we'll be working with torn paper brushes. This is the custom brush. I will leave the link in the description so that you can download it and use it in your creation. If you wonder how I got this one, this is nothing but uh, if you place the brush over your canvas and right click, it will open and now you can, by holding this one, if you drag, you can change the angle of your brush like this press enter to confirm and now change the brush size sorry we have to apply on this layer first so let's apply the layer mask and that gives the effect of torn brush torn paper sorry now what we'll do is we will once again right click on our mouse And now we will select the layer mask of the topmost image and then click. Now what we will do is we create another layer by clicking on this icon. Now we will select the foreground color as white. Now it is not a foreground color, it is just a simple brush with a white color. If it's too much, just press Ctrl J to undo. You can also adjust the brush size by clicking on the second bracket keys. Now if you want to adjust, like if you see here, uh, there is a gap over here. So you can also paint it back. You have to select this layer mask, the lowermost layers layer mask and reverse the color or change the color foreground color to white and keeping the same brush you can just paint it back to match now you'll create another layer and this time once again we'll reverse the brush make it upside down Center, increase the brush size. And once again, select the layer mask of the topmost subject layer. Now we'll paint back. Let's go back to the move tool and drag it a little upwards to place. You can also rotate this one. 
like that and press ok and now we are done with this one now it is giving us a torn paper effect now to refine it more what we will do is we will add a drop shadow firstly to this layer double click on the layer and the blending options will be open now we will add a drop shadow like this now play with the slider repeat the process for the third image layer or either another thing you can do is you can just copy this effect copy layer style click on the right click on the effects written here then go to copy layer style and go to to which layer you want to have the same effect you go to that layer and then right click and go to paste layer style you can find it over here same thing we will do for these other layers which are the white layers so this is done now we'll be doing some color adjustments with our layers to refine it more now before moving on to the next step let's just rename the layers so that we can avoid some confusions and now we will link the white layer and the image layer so that later on if we resize or move them they will move together for linking the layers you have to uh, press shift and select the layers one by one and then go to this button this when you click this one it gets linked now we will add some levels adjustment layers to start with let's add a levels, levels adjustment layer to this one select the layer go here and right click go to levels and clip it to the, this layer for clipping press alt or option button on the keyboard and when the cursor turns like that just click play with the slider now we'll be doing the same with this layer also that is image 3 next we're gonna add some glitch like effect for doing that go to rectangular marquee tool and select the layer make the selection press command J to copy it on a different layer and then press command T now you can move by holding and dragging it you're gonna create the similar kind of an effect with these two layers also and then the same process next is we will add some shape layers for doing that let's go to rectangle tool and draw a rectangle you can also select the layer on which you can you want to draw the rectangle like for example uh, we will draw a rectangle over here so since it is uh, above this layer we will select this layer and draw the rectangle here we will change the color show colors to none and now we will change the blend mode of the shape layer to multiply then we can position it as far our need hit the tick button when you are satisfied we will need similar kind of a rectangle for our this layer so what we will do is we will duplicate this layer by holding the alt or option key and when the cursor changes to this we will just drag and place it here and bring this rectangle above our image third image layer that is above image 3 now you can change the opacity if you want now I don't want this shape layer to overlap our image layer at the center so what we'll do is we first select the shape layer then we'll apply a layer mask this and then we go to brush tool foreground color is black and uh, the brush will be hard round brush flow will be 100% opacity will be 100% then we increase the size of the brush by pressing the second bracket keys now we want our mask to limit to this layer only so what we'll do is we will press command and click on the layer mask of this layer 
and we need to inverse the selection because we want to um, subtract or hide this part not this part now if we will paint it will hide this part but we want to hide this part so we'll press command shift and i to inverse the selection and then brush over it command d to deselect and we will do the similar kind of a thing with this shape layer also you will find small discrepancies like we have over here you can just adjust your brush to a smaller size and now go to the layer mask of this rectangle layer and since the brush is already selected foreground color is black we will paint over it so that it gets released now we are done with this and now in our next part we will be adding some text layers and before that if you want you can group all these layers in a single group just for your organization purpose for doing that click on the topmost layer and hold shift and come to the lowermost layer it will select all the layers and hit command G to group this one we can rename as image final For the text layer, let's go to our text tool and click on the canvas, type whatever we want. Like this, go to move tool, then drag to make it bigger. Firstly, we change the color, then let's change the font. It's all written in small caps, just the F is in caps. So what we'll do is, we will click on this one to make all the characters in capital letters. You can adjust the spacing between the characters also. Let's resize it a little bit. Now I wanted the characters to be in a slanting position but I won't go for this italic but instead what we'll do is press the command button in the keyboard and then put the cursor on this and now we'll drag like this. You can also drag it like this position when you are satisfied hit the click button now let's give it an effect right uh, double click to give it the effect text is select the text layer and double click on it we will select the strokes stroke is at 11 let's make it 10 then position I have kept it in center, you can kept it inside or outside, whatever, you can see the changes. Go to blending options here and fill opacity to zero. Now if you see uh, the stroke size is, seems to be smaller, then you can adjust it with this slider, like that, make it a little bit bold, hit ok when you are satisfied. And now we want two more layers with a similar effect. So what we'll do is we will hold down the Alt or Option key and when the cursor turns to double arrow, we'll drag, double click to edit. We want another layer. So once again, hold the Alt or Option key and again drag. Select all the three layers by holding the Shift key. You can adjust the size as per your need. Now what we'll do is, you can see there are three text layers uh, with three names. We will first uh, work with the trend layer. We'll give it a layer mask. Select the brush tool and this time we'll be taking a soft round brush. Okay, before that, what we'll have to do is, we have to turn this into a smart object so what we'll do is we will del first delete the layer mask what we have applied by dragging into the trash can icon then we will change it to smart object and this one also now we will apply the layer mask 
and now taking the brush tool foreground color is black and the brush will be soft round brush now we'll hide it behind the mask like this if it's too much just undo by pressing command Z we will do the same with this style text layer I think it is done go to the move tool and now what we'll do is we will select all the three layers and turn them into a smart object all together and lastly we have a small line uh, or two lines what we have to add over here so before that we have to make it treat it like a paragraph and that's why we have to firstly make a path for that one and as you know for that we have to bring down some guides to make the path we will select the pen tool holding down the shift key we will click on the intersections of the guide and now click on the text tool and click over here we will adjust that later press ok go to move tool and now if you want you can remove the guides I got a beautiful coat on fashion and style so what I'm going to do is I will copy that and paste it over here to paste uh, we'll press we'll select first select the text and then press command V then place it wherever you want and lastly we'll add one line over here the fill color will be white and also the strokes color will be white stroke color if you want you can increase stroke size if you want you can do it manually also the size and now we will drag it a little bit lower and boom our poster is done with this we have completed today's illustration thanks for staying with me throughout the process if you like the video and enjoyed the process of making it please like and share with your friends and if you like watching this type of videos please subscribe to Dexplorian. We can also connect on Pinterest and Instagram, links are given in the description. I will be back with a new video, till then take care and keep creating, bye.